Welcome back, everyone, to the North Dakota Today. All of us want to be part of a group and to feel seen and accepted by others. But achieving that takes some work. Inspirational speaker Don Kaiser is joining us this morning to talk about why we need an inner circle to belong to. Don, thanks you so much for being here again. Yeah, thanks. What are the benefits uh, of having this inner circle? Well, I think so many times when we're pursuing dreams, we feel like we're by ourselves, especially depending on what that dream is. Um, I know when I started my own business a couple of years ago, I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm an entrepreneur. Like I have to pull myself up by my bootstraps. And I thankfully had a friend say, no, you don't. Like you're in a business that you're the owner, but you can build this inner circle in order to help you achieve your dreams. So I think it's knowing that you're not alone, having that encouragement because it is hard sometimes pursuing your dreams you know you have this big grand idea mm -hmm. and that's why i call them god-sized dreams and there are going to be roadblocks in the way and so building that inner circle allows you to really have that person say yeah you, you weren't crazy when you started this venture right like keep doing it keep pursuing it that way as well um and then i think it's just to bounce off ideas you know two heads are always better than one and so when you have that inner circle you can go lisa you know here's the idea i was thinking what do you think and it doesn't mean you have to take their advice, but it's always, oh yeah, that would work. Or have you thought about the 10 other steps that are gonna have to mm -hmm. come because of that one initial step you're willing to take? How do you build this team? How do you, how do you find these people who should be in your circle? Well, first of all, I always say you have to get rid of three types of people in your inner circle because you can't build your true inner circle until you kind of mm. defriend almost the ones that might be in your inner circle. So number one, get rid of the doubters. Look at your group, who's, who you're hanging out with right now, who doubt that you can actually accomplish your dreams. They're the ones who are putting those seeds in going, mm, yeah, really, like, let, let's play it small. Like, that's way too big. You, you live in North Dakota or Minnesota, that's never gonna happen. It's like, okay, no, nope, you're out, right? Mark them off the list. Another one is discouragers. So who are those people who are not just doubting you, but who are really negative voices who are telling you that the world's falling apart that the economy is going to tank you know prepare for the worst kind of um environment and all that kind of stuff and the last one is the distractors and we don't think about getting rid of the distractors because sometimes they could be our closest friends but they're the ones who call up on on a saturday morning saying hey instead of working on your dream how about we go shopping or how about we go <laughs> to a movie or how about we do all of these other things accept what you really need to do in order to achieve your dream in life. So really getting rid of those three. And that might be having hard conversations because some of those people might actually be your family members. Um, some of those might be your friends that you've had. And it doesn't mean you can't associate with them. They're just not in your inner circle at that point in time. So it's great, Don, and we want to explore more of this. So now yeah. we know who to get out of the inner circle. Yeah. And when we come back, we're going to talk about who we can bring in to the inner circle. We'll be right back.